Good morning, Lenape, and welcome back to this week's episode of Lenape Live. I'm your host, Bella Cow. And I'm your host, Nathan Steinberg. It's Friday, May 6th, and we're back with an all-new episode. We have a lot in store for this week, so stick around because this is Lenape Live. <laughs> This week, AP testing marks an extremely stressful two weeks for our AP students. Hopefully, after testing is over, classes will start winding down towards the end of the school year. I know that I'm not taking any. Are you taking any tests, Bella? Mm, yes. I'm taking the AP bio test next Wednesday. Oh, that's rough. Well, good luck to everyone testing, and I hope all the hard work studying is paying off. Same here. But on a more exciting note, Nate, this is your first time hosting. How is it being in the studio? Um, well, I thought this chair would be a lot more comfortable, um, but once I got uh, past that, uh, I'm really excited. Glad to hear it. Now let's check out what's happening this week at Lenape. Remember to help cadets help pets by donating pet items to the Dare to See for their service learning project. You can drop off your donations in boxes located around the school or bring them to the Dare to See classroom in A101. You can donate items up until May 14th. The NHS Volleyball Tournament for EBO and Pediatric Cancer will be held tomorrow, May 7th, in the South Gym. Participants, please coordinate with your teams. Check-in and shirt pickup is at 2 p.m. Attention all juniors. Today is your last day to purchase JDD tickets. You can find them on schoolcashonline.com for $80 per ticket. I know the tickets are expensive. Even I was hesitant at first. But we're renting out the entire Philly Stadium, and that is something I hope all of you can enjoy. If you want to audition for one of Lenape's choirs for the 2022-2023 school year, you can join in the Auditions Google Classroom found in your email announcements. Auditions will be held virtually this year and are open to all students. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Moore. For further announcements, make sure to check your Outlook email. Welcome back to Lenape Live. We hope to get back to that Lenape Lookout segment later this show. Well, if you don't know already, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and to show our appreciation to our teachers, Rosalind, Max, and Sarah put together this segment. Who is your favorite teacher? Um, I think my favorite teacher would probably be either Ms. Clemens or Ms. Alfanos. They're just like really enthusiastic and energetic, and it's made a really good impact on me. I would have to say my favorite teacher is Mrs. New. She is such a queen. I love her so much. She's so nice. She's a great math teacher. One of the best I've had, I think. My favorite teacher is probably Ms. Favre. Um, the organization she has and taking care of everything in the media center is just really incredible. She does such a great job. Um, man, I got two. Uh, one teacher, Mr. Mark, and then a uh, choir teacher, Mr. Moore. Well, that's difficult because, you know, a lot of teachers have made lots of positive impacts. Um, but if I had to pick just one, I think I'd have to go with Mr. Tamborello. My favorite teacher has got to be Mr. Lopez down in ND15. Please give me extra credit. But uh, he's definitely my favorite because I really feel like he actually teaches us things instead of just droning on and talking about whatever their slideshow says. And he might be a harsh grader, but I think he gives really good criticism on everything he grades. My favorite teacher is probably my math teacher, Ms. Lopez, just because she always makes sure, makes sure that all of the students really understand and she's really open about questions. My favorite teacher is Miss Lamberto because she makes her class fun and exciting and she makes an effort to keep in touch with her students even after you leave her class and she's the best. Uh, my favorite teacher is Sergeant Mondelli because mm -hmm. I've I've been around him for three years and I've done a uh, drill team with the Jersey C for three years and I've just like developed around him and with him and I've had like a really unique and great relationship with him. And even though I'm leaving the program after this year, I still intend to um, still visit the classroom to see him and talk to him. Miss um, Hillman, she's a Spanish teacher, my Spanish teacher. I enjoy her class and she teaches really well and I understand the content. My favorite teacher is Miss Dimmick because she teaches us really well 
and I really love the information that we learn in her class. Um, my favorite teacher is Mr. Rich because he's really funny and a good person to talk to. Mr. Carcio, no explanation needed. My favorite teacher has to be Mr. Meany. He's one of the most understanding people in general, and honestly, I would not be getting through this year without him. Colonel Tuzak, because he's always pushing us to be our best selves, and he always helps us whenever we need help with it, literally anything. My favorite teacher is Mr. Waz, because he's very empathetic, and he always has the students' best interests. Miss Keepworths, because she's a very accepting teacher, and she's taught me a lot of life skills that I need, and I can go to her when I need help. Miss Cashman, because she's always there, and she's always your number one supporter or through anything you go through. My favorite teacher is Miss Gabe Hart. I really appreciate Miss Converso because she helped me become a lot more confident in doing labs. Um, my favorite teacher is Miss Frisch because she's really funny and she always makes sure that I understand. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Porco. He makes my day so much better every time I walk into his class. He's very compassionate and caring and yes, it is. interesting and tries to make his class as fun as possible. The teacher I appreciate the most is Miss Smith because she made a really big impact on my life. The teacher I appreciate the most is Mr. Krastic because he makes learning history so fun and I enjoy his class every day. My favorite teacher is Mr. Knoll because he's very passionate about his teaching career. We have great discussions in class, and he just is there to support his students. Um, I appreciate Ms. Thomas because she is such a good teacher and has always been there for me, and she's one of my role models. Um, every single one of my teachers has something that I like about them, so I guess all of them. It was great to show appreciation and hear from our students, but more importantly, thank you to all the teachers for everything that you do. Now let's get you to the Lenape Lookout team with another weekly weather update brought to you by the Meteorology Club. Welcome to Lenape Lookout brought to you by the Meteorology Club. I'm Sarah Goodstein and this week was really similar compared to past weeks with increasing temperatures as we head into summer. Wednesday was our first bit of rain in May, and today's weather will be a bit rainy and a bit colder than this week. Now with Nate with the weather to look out for next week. Thanks, Sarah. Next week will be much more sunny than this week. Make sure to prepare for the temperatures to rise as there are only 31 days left until summer break, and make sure to wear some sunscreen to protect yourself from the sun. Back to the studio. And so, thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of Lenape Live. Remember to keep up with us on Twitter at Len Digital Media and on Instagram at Lenape Digital Media. And stop by ND25 to see how you can be involved with our show. We'll be back next Friday, May 13th, with an all-new episode. Have a great weekend, Lenape.